this dude is still skeptical that you can do this, but I believe in you. I know you can. And so let's prove him wrong. Let's get in and open up RoboCode. You should have this icon now that you've gotten it installed, or you should be able to run the robocode.bat command uh, to get it running in Windows. I think it's the robocode.sh command in, on the Mac. Um, anyway, we should be able to bring up the screen. This is the main RoboCode screen. And so from here, I can click on Battle and New, and RoboCode comes loaded up with a bunch of different sample robots for you to practice against, um, to, to see what they're doing, to learn from. And so I'm going to click on the sample bots here, and I'll bring in a few of these. So I'll add in Corners and Crazy and Fire, and uh, we'll just watch those three work for a minute. So this is the game. So each robot is uh, acting as the programmer told it to. So it's acting and reacting. It's it's doing a deep default behavior and then as events are generated as it's hit by a bullet or as it scans another robot or it runs into a wall an event is generated and then we can tell it what to do in the case that thing happens and so we've got these three different bots here they've got uh, uh, a tank base they've got a, a gun turret and they've got a radar on top I don't know how well you can see that let me pause this for a second so that little color there, blue, is a radar that scans. And in order to make this a little more fun, I always suggest that you click on Options and go to Preferences. And then for one, you want sound effects. So I go to the Sound Options tab and click on Enable Sound. And then there's a View Options tab where you can say Visible Scan Arcs, meaning you can see what the radar is actually doing. And I think that works really well as we're writing our robots in the first place. So I'll unpause this now. And we should have get some sound. There we go. So we should get some sound as these shots are being fired and as we're being hit. Robots are exploding. And we can see the scan arcs, the radar, of what it's doing, where it's going. And as we scan a certain robot, meaning the radar passes it, then it's going to generate an event for us saying, on scanned robot event and so we'll mess around with that here in a minute but this is the, the basic uh, gameplay and um, we t we tell the robots how to act and what to do and so let's take a look at it so I'm gonna stop this and then I'll bring up the robot editor so if I click on robot and then source editor this is the place where we can go in and build our robots and, and make changes and do whatever we need to to our robots. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to say, let's create a file new robot. And I'm going to give it a name called RoboCode Fun. And I'm going to say OK. And then it wants a package name. Now here you can put your initials. You can put, this is basically the folder it's going to go in. And so you can put whatever you want here, but I'm going to do uh, IS, capital IS as my folder. So I'm going to click OK. And notice that it builds us a package called IS. And if I wanted to change that at some point, by the way, I can just change it and say, let's call this blah or whatever. Um, and, it, and that will change the, the directory it looks for uh, the robot in. All right, so it says, uh, I just click save, and it said the robot should be saved in the directory robocode uh, robots is. So there's the path of where to find it if you need to. The directory currently doesn't exist. Would you like to create it? And I'll go ahead and say yes. All right, so I can save it out in that path. And then uh, notice it's going to import the whole RoboCode library. We're going to go in and look at a lot of the different classes that come along with it. Um, so our first line of the program, our, our class here is called the name that I gave it, RoboCode Fun, and that is going to extend the robot class. So that means we inherit from the robot class, meaning we can do everything that a default robot can do. We're going to get all the properties and all the methods from that robot and we'll look at those in more detail in a little bit. And then we have this method inside this class called public void run. This is like the main method. This is the place where the program our robot starts. And so um, 
anything we want to do of setup so it says initialization of the robot should be put here anything on setup so it gives an example we can set up the colors of the robot um, we can do in this run method and then it eventually hits this loop that says while true now this is a little bit weird because it doesn't say while something is true this is just saying while true this loop will run for the entire duration of the game and so this is the default behavior of the robot in this case we're going ahead by 100 we're turning the gun right 360 degrees which will also move the radar we'll find out and so we're doing a scan a full scan of 360 degrees then we move back 100 and then we turn the gun right 360 degrees so same another scan so ahead turn the gun all the way around back turn the gun all the way around and then we loop back up to the top and go ahead again and this uh, behavior is the default behavior during the the play of the game so i'm going to go ahead and comp i'm going to well, want to add this robot into the game so i'm going to compile it so i say compiler compile and it compiles and so now that file should be sitting out there so now when i go back to the battle and click on new i should have an is folder if i don't have it you can try control r to refresh but i should be able now to add my bot into the game and so surely it's added in uh, with those three other bots let's go ahead and start the battle and watch its behavior so it's going ahead 360 back 360 ahead 360 back 360. now it does start doing other stuff in the middle of it we saw when it gets shot it does something else and so we can take a look at that but currently that's the default behavior ahead 360 back 360 scanning each time 360 degrees we can see the radar arc going around and around let me restart it um, each time it's light blue there so you can see it barely it's scanning each time i'm pointing with my fingers as if you can see my fingers on the screen but you can see it scanning around and then let's see what it does when it scans so i'll go ahead and stop this back to the robot editor which I can get to and I already have it open but I also can say uh, robot source editor again and get back that way so how is it doing other stuff well as it's performing this default behavior then it's also uh, looking for these events to be generated so one event is on scanned robot if I scan a robot what is it that I'm going to do in this case, I'm saying if I scan it, immediately fire one, and that will fire whatever direction my gun turret is pointed at that moment. If I'm hit by a bullet, so on hit by bullet, I can go back 10. And so uh, that's not very far, but that's what they've chosen to do with this bot. Go back by 10. On hitting a wall, back up 20. And so there's these events that are default, built into the default bot, but there's plenty more events where that comes from that we can use to, to make our robot better. And so you can see if I was to instead say, go ahead 100, go back 200, let's just try this just to see it. I'll save that, compile it, compiled successfully. If we get any errors, they'll show up there in that window. I can jump back to the battle and then start the battle again. And we'll see, now I go back 200 forward 100 back 200 forward now we've got a little bit of a problem here because I'm running into the wall and it's going back by 10 each time and so I'm getting stuck so obviously we'll want to have some checks for that plus it makes a really annoying sound you hate it when people get stuck on the wall because it's so loud and annoying um, anyway so that's kind of the default behavior of the robot so not very fun not very exciting what we're going to do in the next uh, few videos is make it more exciting make it do some cool things to help us so we can do better in these battles one last thing i'll point out you can uh, default i think is 30 on the speed but if you want the battle to go faster you can change it and this is really good for testing we can make it go faster and if we really want to just test a change that we made to see if that's a better change or a worse change, we can put it at a thousand, and it will run through very quickly a bunch of rounds to see how it, you know, how that change we made ended up affecting the robot. So we'll look more at how to make the robot better in the next video. Spencer out.